Hey guys, it's Steve with Lakeside Forge. Um, I wanted to wish y'all a Merry Christmas. It is Friday, Christmas Day. Here you see my forge. There's forging update here. It's actually still hot from when I fired it up about what two hours ago or something. It's pretty hot in there. But Here's a forging update. Um, I got a hammer, a new one, kind of junk. I'll get I'll get a better one later. I got a railroad track anvil from a friend, and I made myself well with the help of someone else. I made myself a handy pair of tongs, but tongs aren't that handy when I can't find them. Ah, here they are. I made myself a basic gym pour tongs. They're yeah, pretty good. They're pretty nice for me being a beginner. Not really good with stuff. But yeah, got my hammer and... You won't believe it, I got coal for Christmas, and my stocking, you know, of course, and my forge is still smoking, as you can see. I like to keep it smoking, because that way the leftover coal I have can turn into coke. Most of this is already coke, but that's fine, it's just pile it up, and it's Gotta brush that off. But here's my new coal. It's better than that old junk I had. This is real smithing coal. It's nice and hard. Good hard coal. Pretty nice. It does well and it lights easy. My little Coleman storage bucket. But here is that old stuff I have. As you can see, it's kind of junk. It's really soft. Other stuff doesn't break up really easy. It's pretty hard coal. But I, I made a new railroad spike knife. Well, for my grandfather for Christmas. Going up to their house, it ought to be nice. Live out in kind of the middle of nowhere, but you know, nice place. But I'll see you in a bit with my railroad spike knife. Hey guys, it's Steve again. This is his railroad spike knife. Like the dots on there, it's a pretty neat effect, but. I twisted it somewhat. I don't want it too twisted. It's a pretty good knife. It's freaking sharp. Kind of hurt myself making this thing. But, yeah. Pretty nice knife. I gotta work on some of the details. As you can see right there, I screwed up with the Dremel tool, but probably fix that. That side. It's pretty good. And then probably a bit more sharpening and a bit more doing. I'll get that all nice, but it's pretty sharp and uh I think it'll be good for a Christmas gift. Well, anyways, I'll see y'all later. Um, I'll um, probably do a, um, a talk on how to um, forge a railroad spike knife. I'm not a complete expert on it, but if any thinks, anyone thinks they're better than me, just go ahead and say it, and I want a video response. Thanks a lot. Bye.